Right, it's Thursday, it's 20 to blooming 4 because we've been busy with, um, I don't know whether I can say, oh that's it, yeah, a film crew, but you're going to have to wait till April, May for that because it's going to be something interesting and I think you're going to like it, so, usual lot, little Nick, we've got Glenn, we've got Marie on her knees as usual and we've got Rusty down there, but these lots say there's nothing in the water, so obviously I'm going to have to prove them wrong, so let's get a quick dip before it gets dark because we're not in a nice area. Thank you all for joining, it's been a great day. <laughs> I've got a clamp with an orc. Big bar. I think I found some nails. Look at that lot. A USB charger. So I've got the remains of a hinge. God, that's had some use. That. That, yeah, that's a proper old one now. That's happy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that for a hammerhead. It's proper battered at the end. That's had some abuse over the years. Sort of like Glenn. He's had a lot of abuse over the years. Ain't you, Glenn? There we go. Got a bit of a bracelet. Red. That's had some use. Look at that. That's good, yeah. Nice. That's been abused over the years, hasn't it? Here we go, we've got a tape cassette. What's that in English? Marty Kaputra. There we go, he can read better than I can. <laughs> Another scaff dump. Murder weapon! I've got some skizzers. There you go, look. It's got my first murder weapon. Oh! And a blade. A razor blade. Peaky thing. One item that I could recognise. Second murder weapon of the day. I've got a knife. It's a bit blunt, I think that bent on impact. That was a bit of chain, but it broke when I was trying to free it off. Got an axle blade. And a bit. We and a chav can. <laughs> <laughs> Who's great six you got now? Well, we've got some 1980s love struck teenagers mixtape to his girlfriend, so she must have dumped him. It must have been bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you ever wonder where all this fame tune come from, Back in day, when I was command up radio with mother and father, this is what I used to play. It is plastic, it's better art cut than ink cut. Anyway, I'm great there all. I've got a clamp. <laughs> And I've got a scaffold clamp, but Glenn's going to tell you all about it. Come on, Glenn, tell them all about it. You'll like this. What it is is right. <laughs> We've got a scaffold clamp, and it's not from now, do you? Is it? So turn around a bit. <laughs> <laughs>
Saxon sword. <laughs> <laughs> it's a prepare lot. It's a prepare lot. <laughs> no, it's a Saxon sword. That won't be nothing with his teeth. There we go, scaffold pole joiner. <laughs> We're down here! <laughs> so anyway, I've got so I've got wheel cylinders, brake wheel cylinders. <laughs> I think it's just a head though, where's my glove? Alright, it's got a bit on the sword. It's hollow. It's off a mile to bike. This what? I think it's off a mile to bike. I know what that is. That's a training round. Can you know what I thought it was at first? I thought it was a flash <laughs> Is he? I thought it was, I thought it was another one everybody's got. Is there a loop attached? You've got the wire. What's inside? Is there a loop attached? Watch your back. Go. Oh. Oh, Sorry mate, that's gone. Thank you. Oh, have a day. The loop's attached. Got one there. Got one there. It's not explosive. She's on my camera. <laughs> <laughs> and if he chucks it in the scrap, I'll have it off him. Because <laughs> I'll cut that off and cut that off. <laughs> it looks like it's black. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put a copper there. strip around it. I know when they're dropping out of planes, they have a hook, but they don't usually have them that far forward. Would they drop something else? Would it have. Um... Oh, yeah. If, if this was in a, a bomber, would they have yeah. loads of these in? Really? And they, they do have high bolts, but they're not usually that far forward. What would they call that? Do you want to have a con Google? A fucker. It's hard to say because it could be German, it could be British. Nine. No, it's not German. It's got a combo white around it. It's got a weight, is it? It's got some. It's got the right weight for an artillery, uh, for a bomb. There we go. On camera, it looks just like one, doesn't it? <laughs> what? Kind of spigot, is it? Is it some kind of spigot, Steve? It's not spigot. I think it's German. It could be German. During the war! During the war! <laughs> but I'm not sure about all this in here. Yeah, what's that in there? Is that Concrete, that is not depressed it. Rock hard. Rock hard. It, all of this is stoved in. Is that an aluminium fuse that's up where it's hit? And flanked not it? gone bang. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. Is it hitting? Oh yeah, would it have been just like that? Cause and then it's compacted. Yeah, because some fuses are aluminium. So I'm sure I put in German bomb. I don't know. Let's try um, German. 18 pounder. 18. It, so that means that could still be fuzzies. Yeah. I don't think it's a keeper. Oh, you do? You're talking about in his back of his car. I just you don't know where that one is. I just don't know. That one's throwing me. <laughs> they're they're artillery rounds. That's artillery They're not drop bombs. Uh, 18 pounder drop bomb. I think, I think that's um, dropped because of the eyeball. Drop bomb. Let's try that. I know it's wordy. Well, they need to get a better welder because that's scruffy. <laughs> <laughs> See, what I mean, when they drop them, they drop loads at a time. Yeah. Right. Are they all attached together? They're they? all different sizes. No, they're all hung up on, uh, on wires. On I don't know that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, please don't find that. <laughs> What's that? 
<laughs> he will. He will. I honestly can't see with that one now. So the elf's been naughty again. We haven't been here long, but um, got the end off an artillery shell, I believe. It's got the weight on it, and the end is all splattered like it's landed and splattered rather than gone off. We're not 100% sure, just trying to check it out at the moment. It is empty. Well, there's not really anything inside it, but looks like the end of a missile. Oh, what a find. Well done, Alf, you didn't let me down. Here we go. There's a head. Right. Right, so, on closer inspection, he, him, has caused trouble. He's a little turd. Actually, no, it wasn't him. No, it wasn't him. It was him. He's caused it. Look, they're everywhere now, look. Right, him, right. Don't you blame that, Elf. So, on closer inspection of this article that I found, um it's not empty so unfortunately we're just going to get on the phone because we're not 100 percent sure and there's only one thing we can do at a time like this is is call the police so mm, not the busiest day filming not the longest fishing but unfortunately let's call the police to get the eod out whoops So there we go, we're just clearing up and exiting really quickly. Nick's got to pack the canteen away before the police arrive. <sighs> Blimey, I can't believe this. I ain't even been here an hour. Can't take you nowhere. <laughs> can't take you nowhere. <sighs> There's Rusty Nuts doing his stuff. I'm, I'm a t -t sex bomb, me. I'm a sex bomb. I'm a sex bomb, sex bomb. I'm a t -t sex bomb. <laughs> you could t -t turn me on. <laughs> you could t -t -t turn me on. It's gone on old. Oh no, no, no. Oh no! Never know that before. Well, we have heard a lot of sounds. It's probably not got any more. <laughs> <laughs> the new forest. New forest. <laughs> Hello there. I'm a magnet fisherman. Uh, in, uh, we're fishing in Smethwick next to Smethwick pumping station, and we've pulled out what we think is a suspicious-looking um, item. It looks to be. Like a, an artillery head, or an artillery round. An art. T t t t t t what word is An it? artillery round. That sounds like. Yeah, it looks like an artillery round, but it's got a split pin sticking out the uh, the tip of it, which is unusual. That sounds like. We're actually on the bridge on Brass House Lane. On Brass House Lane? Yeah, Brass House Lane Bridge, next to Smethwick Pumping Station. Okay. Um, can you describe it to me, please? Yes, it, it looks like an artillery round head, the head out of an artillery round. It's about six to eight inches, well, about six inches okay. long. It's uh, it's, I'd say, about three inches wide, in, well, in diameter, if you know what I mean. It's quite heavy. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's got it's got uh, like what looks like a split pin sticking out the side of the very tip of it with a bit of copper wire around it. So that bit's thrown me because I, I collect uh, artillery and things like that, you know, deactivated stuff, and this this is baffled me. It's I'm Steve Forrest. I'm up from up the tip mirrors, but I'm in Birmingham causing trouble. I'm from the bungalow up in Yorkshire, up the mirrors. <laughs> I'll take him anywhere. Who are you talking to? It's Kayla. Are you telling tales on me again? I'm telling tales on you, yeah. I'm well, telling. I've been on the BBC, you know, I'm going I'll to boo boo boo. Even Kayla's saying, I'll take him anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Just so, as you can see, look, we're here. That's good. You're looking very red faced again. The sun ain't even shining. I've got a bit of a headache. It's the wind proper. You're not pregnant, are you? I could be, because I mean... Right, OK. Yeah. Can I get you the nut? And there's Nicola looking like a typical street oh, chaff. Look. Good his fault this is, this. And Marie, in the bubbles. Steve scrubbed her bubbles. I did. Yeah. Me bubbles, One of them you? went down my trouser leg. <laughs> <laughs> Explain. <laughs> what, did it actually fall off then? Yeah, yeah she, said, she said, don't panic if one of the, if my bubbles come off. <laughs> and I lost one in the washing machine and it worked, me way, worked its way down my trouser leg. <laughs> it's not the first time she's worked her way down your trouser leg, is it? <laughs> nearly had fluffy much. And can I just say, this particular item, we are unsure of. So we're doing the right thing, we're calling it in. Better to be safe than sorry. So anybody else out there, if you pull anything out that resembles a bomb and you're just not sure about it don't trust the internet call them out if in doubt call, call them, them out. out from the admins of the presidential see <laughs> it even happens to us i don't know what it is i can't identify it but and that's really frustrating him because he can't it's identify it. me up the wall. <laughs> but like i say if in doubt call them out let it this be a lesson to everybody. It, it happens of, to us. It ain't one of my wibbly wobblies, is it? Oh, flipping up, not. I've called the police. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a bit stiff. I don't think you get much of a wibble or wobble out of that. <laughs> Let's turn up to a wibbly wobbly. I'm going to be wearing it all the way out. Do you want to film from the bridge? Yeah, I'll go for the top. I'll, I'll so there we go. The police have arrived. Oh, they brought the dogs. Who let the dogs out? Don't get too close, Steve, they're <laughs> now your scent. <laughs> Don't give Frank promises he's going to enjoy. <laughs> hey? No, I'm not live. I'm just filming. Blocking a council installation. <laughs> Nicola, they're the same size as you now. What? There you go, they're just examining it. So now I suppose I'll take pictures and email them off. <laughs> Glenn, Glenn, look at me. What are you? Jimmy Choo's is gone. She lost her glasses and not got a Jimmy Choo's. <laughs> It's lucky you got them, she'll be able to find them now. You want to see them, you'd have been going. That loud laugh is just Marie having one of her moments over <laughs> Nick's glasses. Oh, there's more sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you don't know. It's an ambulance, it's an ambulance, oh, it's all right. <laughs> oh dear. As you can hear sirens in the background to add to the ambience. Here. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was there? Where was he mate? It was here. <laughs> Whoops. Again. This keeps happening, Nick. It's only since you joined us. It never happened before. Well, maybe once or ten times. <laughs> I was going to say, it was 15. Can I, take, can I take the glory for Elf's, all Elf's findings then? I think I might buy you all an elf, a working one, Glenn. One that works. You can one at work. Can you bless it wherever you bless it? Yeah, I'm not going to get it from Poundland. <laughs> <laughs> and all we do is put them in a box, get them to mate over the, there, and the next day they're raring to go, yes, aren't they? We'll have a family of them. <laughs> we'll have the outcast elf family. Oh, look, it can, it's, it's, it's rusty. Yeah, I'm not too happy, is it? Oh, no, he's got to stand out here in the cold. Would you be happy? If you got me at the office. Oh, let's see what t -t 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 Rusty has to say. See that thing? We have to send them off to uh, EOD, get them to uh, try and give an identification. They're coming to block the towpath off. They're not going to block the bridge or anything off. Well, it's quite high up, isn't it? So. Yeah. I don't, sir. All right, okay. okay. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he look at me? <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, if you haven't watched his channel, you can't take him nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't been here an hour. <laughs> <laughs> You've been with the BBC, haven't you? I've been filming it. And then we've been down there, I think it's been a bit too dramatic for you. Here it comes along. We've been 10 minutes, it pulls out. We've finished the time, we don't know what it is, so we've got to do the right thing. Well, all I can say is, West Midlands Police, absolutely brilliant. Oh, We've just nice. been having a good laugh with them. Oh, really nice people. Yeah, and they're actually great. going to let us know yeah. what it was. So, definitely, West Midlands Police, big up to you. Yes. Brilliant job. Always friendly. And we had a laugh. And, and they're going to send Glenn the bill. <laughs> <laughs> but this is cool. Look. Look at that for a nice touch. Look. That is... So that is on. And on the other one as well, no? On it, the police car. Look at that. That's really good, that is. Right, okay, well, it's getting cold and my hand's freezing. So, as you can see, the day started off really different. I can't say much more, but all I'm going to say is check out BBC TV sometime in the spring. I'll let you know all about that. And these lot, they came, they had a fish without me. And we came, we saw, we pulled out, anyway. And then I came along, and in less than an hour... <laughs> yeah, one of them. But, as always, it's been fun. We have Rusty Nuts. If in doubt. Well, I don't, out. he does. We have Nicola. Hello. <laughs> we have Glenn. Anything of a certain shape, guys, it's fine. What's with the beauty spot under your eye? The what, the beauty spot? Yeah. yeah. I, need, I need more of the beauty spot to make me beauty. beautiful. <laughs> and we have Marie. Beauty. Where's your tash? It's not like you. <laughs> but anyway, as I said, it's a fun day. The filming was hard work, to be honest with you. So if you ever go on TV, believe me, it's hard work and it's cold and it's wet. But you'll, it'll all be explained. Thanks to these, these two here. Are you the new GIJ? No, I'm just the idiot that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for joining. I don't know whether this is going to be joined to another video because it depends how Saturday goes, but I'm not going to say no more about that. But thanks for joining. If goodbye you're not from in prison, me. Lots. See you next time. <laughs> and goodbye for me. And goodbye for me. He's gone. Is he gone for a swim? Yeah. Oh. And um, yes, we've lost PC <laughs> plod. But anyway, thank you for joining. We'll catch you on the next one. you find in a hole. <laughs> All right, Nick, what are you doing down the hole? Glenn said thanks for moving my brick. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bloody gentleman here, just leave me down the hole. Right, I'm going to know I'm stuck here. Only so we're filming you. There we go. Oh, that was classic. <laughs> right, it's Saturday, we're out. Wrong day of the week again. As you know, we was Thursday, but 
we've come to a location where we did it a long time ago actually but um, where we was meant to be doing today with the filming got cancelled due to the weather as you can see um, we have been scouting an area but I can't say any more about that at the moment so this is hard work it's all train stuff but as you can see Nicola's under the bridge there look cooking curry look there she is she's in there she's in the kitchen there's Marie look she's cold and wet and um, yeah it's bad weather just being stupid as usual but we're gonna go for it and see what we can find <laughs> oh. Right, what have you got, Aaron? I think it's an hammerhead. Oh, yeah, it's got a hole in it, hasn't it? Yeah, got some writing on it. Are you going to hit somebody with it? No, not yet. Not yet? Well, where we are, you might want to keep that. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got, Aaron? Fish plate. He's got a fish plate. Fish and an half. <laughs> <laughs> fish plate. Got a hole in your bucket, I've mate. Got a very big hole in my bucket. <laughs> I will say no more. But we could go ding ding. <laughs> ding ding with a rusty ring. Look, she looks after us. Look, we've got coffee and everything. She's a good girl, really. So, got a track bolt. Ooh. Track clip, a bit of gas pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were powered by steam. Um, I don't know, I think it hurt. If it you're on the head, yeah, it's cast iron, but it's one of them. It's a bit, and a bit of scaff pole. Oh, you gotta have a bit of scaff pole, haven't you? Also, Aaron got, hang on, there we go, this bit of pole. Look, well, bit of bar. Look at the length of that thing. It's a big one, Aaron. Thanks, mate. No stopping him down, look. Bit of vent pole. A little bit of vent pole. <laughs> so you got a, a pole with a base. Another track clip. And <laughs> the remains of a bike, and that really is the remains, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I got a lump of something. A track clip and a something and a bit of bar <laughs> yeah probably the same ones there we go, got myself a bike frame not much of that one left track bolt Track clip and an horseshoe. That's a big horseshoe, isn't it? Yeah. It's not very heavy. It's a lightweight horse, it's a diet one. I've got a bracket and a bolt with a few bits and bobs on it. With a scaff clamp, some more bolts. Track clip, track bolt. Aaron's got a V belt pulley and track bolt. So I've got myself a train brake. That's a heavy old thing that is. I've got a fish plate. Oh, I'm dropping it. And I've got another fish plate. I've got a track clip. you got a track clip. It's a bit lighter, that. I've got a bracket. And a trap bolt. And a threaded bar rod thing. Got what we believe is an old wiper motor. Proper old school, that is. I hope it is, I've just smacked it on something. Oh, I've got this thing. Oh. Oh. 
and I've got one of these. Not quite sure what it is, but blooming heavy. Never a basket. <laughs> Aaron's going shopping, got himself a basket. <sighs> got myself a fridge compressor. God knows why. Part of an old trowel. Aaron found an old cast iron pipe. Rusty likes playing with a dirty pipe. Yeah. Not this bit. We started doing it, but we got fed up with the heavy fine. Fish plate. Fish plate. <sighs> hey. Have you not got it? Oh, and a trap bolt. An old padlock. And a padlock. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so heavy. There you go. No, I ain't got my gloves on. Oh, curry's up. There we go. Aaron found an hammerhead. <laughs> you had to rescue him. That's what he said. Is that ready already? That's ready already, ready. Right. Another trap bolt. I'm one of them. Whatever it is, but it's blooming heavy. See, look, she does look after us. Look, she ain't that bad, really. Look, we've got curry in that now. Very nice. Aaron's got another padlock. He seems to be finding a few today. Give yourself a plug, Dave. Hang on. This is Dave, Adventures with Sonic, with a K. Morning. So if you haven't subscribed to him already, head over his channel and drop him a cheeky sub. Oh, cheers, guys. No, I ain't really. When it came up, I was like, oh no. Got a stone. And I got one of those bowls with an eyeball on it. Poker. Look at four more trap bolts. And another weird bolt. So I've just found one of these cable isolator, isolators on a bracket. Two brackets. Three brackets. Four. Five. Six. Seven. All in the same place. Same place there was a track clip. And a bolt. And three more track bolts. And this big, heavy lump of something. So, I was just walking under the bridge and I found something. I found a gun. Under the bridge! Wasn't even in the water. Let me show you. Look at that. But as we always say, a gun is a gun. Even if it was made for Nicola. So, there we go. My first gun of the day. Nick, found your gun. <laughs> She's never going to be able to leave that. You watch the kickback from that when you go pew pew. <laughs> come on, Nick, come and hold your gun. Be careful because it might be loaded. You wonder what you've done with it, didn't you? Pew, pew. Don't point that thing at me, it might go off. <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't want to fall in there. I've seen what's in there. Shut him. There we go. Put it in your holster and stop messing around. <laughs> As you can see, we have the local homeless shelter <laughs> run by the lovely Nicola and Marie. Two coffees, lad. <laughs> Pine chips twice.
so I've got the remains of a push bike and some poles and a pole and a fish plate love fish fish plates everybody loves a fish plate love them so much I got a fish plate <laughs> some casing for some armoured cable nothing in it though stick grenade alright threaded rod with a bolt on it what's that Glenn? it's an inch it's an inch with a silent H and a track clip and the bike frack that's really light a Carrera one <laughs> no weight to that whatsoever mind you no wheels or seat or handlebars either gone duck ruster that's off a dredge that goes along duck bottom but it's not been dredged very well because it's come off <laughs> then we have scap lamps Mate, <laughs> load of bolts, trap bolts and everything <laughs> no worries mate couple of heavy bits of metal there's something we haven't seen for a few minutes a fish plate bit of cast iron pipe bit of sun ink, another bit of a rusty sun ink and loads of bolts but I can't bother to pick them all up look, look, these bolts, loads of bolts all train bolts and rust and stones and you name it, it's down here oh. yeah. I would say another fun day out but it's been blooming freezing and wet but the curry was alright even though she cooked it above the pile of poo but we won't go into that, <laughs> the curry was good this morning was a bit of a bust, we didn't get to do what we was actually meant to be doing because of the weather, but we will be doing that. Can't yeah. say any more than that, oh. it will be coming. <laughs> but, <laughs> bad timing, Glenn's got something dripping on him. But yeah, we went out, we did something different right. that we're... Same again, we can't show it on the video, but no. all will be revealed soon. So, hope you enjoyed, we'll catch you on Friday. Yeah, Friday! Like, subscribe! Get her to 2,000 subs. Just to warn Steve up. No, I'm only joking. Get it to a thousand <laughs> subs. <laughs> so we've got Peaky Dippers. Dug the Dippers. We've got Rusty Nuts. We've got Adventures with Sonic. Morning. With a K. With a K. What's sticking out of the ground? Neil. 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 Does he have a name? Neil's Adventures. Neil's Adventures. Neil's goes out with Sonic. Not literally, but they do go out and have a laugh. They're always, always out on the pull, aren't you? We're yeah. trying to get him to be Tails. Ah. Oh, he wants to be Tails. Oh. Yeah, Dave wants his tail. <laughs> Bit strange, he's something gone. But anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you Friday for the live. So goodbye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.